one of the things that we've seen, I think a lot of teams kind of lean into. And once they do, it, it's very interesting, the result that it begins to create. And that's this idea that part of showing our people that we care about them is a commitment around establishing systems and processes. It's not just all the rainmakers and the breakfast, like all of that, obviously, from a relationship perspective, so impactful. But there's also just this kind of more utilitarian raw business aspect that when we really dial in systems and processes, that's also part of the way that we show our people that we care about them, we equip them, we make them confident by the things that we put in place, uh, you know, in order to make them more successful. What's your perspective on that? And where do you feel like some of the things that you guys have done, if you do agree with it, that you've leaned into to kind of see that happen? I agree 1000% with that. Why do you think it is that McDonald's can serve you a hamburger anywhere in the world and that hamburger is cooked exactly the same. You can order a hamburger in Albany, Oregon, or you can order a hamburger in Albany, New York, or anywhere in between, and it'll taste exactly the same. It's through their SOPs, their standard operating procedures and their systems and their processes. They've cracked that. So instead of your employee having to think for themselves and you have for us 110 employees running around trying to figure out like, okay, well, what is the best way for me to do this? They have the Fitzpatrick way. And it simplifies everything. And then everybody's reading from the same Bible. And they're not tasked with, I have to write my own Bible.